All right, with the 1991 KDX200, I'm gonna first start off by saying he had a bunch of zip ties on the pipe up there. But yeah, other than that, he said he just want the V touch, the bike not starting right now. He had ordered a FMF muffler, but it's not the the right FMF for the bike. Yeah, it's definitely not the right the right pipe because it's not. Yeah, it's not it's not lining up right. Yeah, the pipe the muffler too long. Yeah, this muffler, let me push it down a little bit. That didn't wanna go on. But yeah, y'all, he got the, the wrong muffler for the bike or whatever. So we're gonna have to see if we can do something about the muffler issue. Or if I got another muffler that could fit it. But yeah, other than that, we just gonna run through everything. And we're gonna go from there. All right, y'all, so I went ahead and pulled the gas sink off, put the reeds off, and pulled the spark plug off. And as you can see, that spark plug definitely burnt out. But other than that, the bike, the bike got a good spark. And with his reeds, his reeds is perfect. Yeah, no cracks, no cracks or chips. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna clean the carburetor out and tune the carburetor. Then we're gonna put a new spark plug in there. And then we're gonna go from there, see what happens. All right, y'all, so one thing I noticed real quick, I had started the bike up and one thing I noticed is that all the coolant, all the water he had in there, as you can see it's smoking, it was coming, it started coming from the release line. So that let me know he have a, a bad, you know, seal on his head, the head gasket problem. You know, as you can see, the water just started running out. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna pull, you know, pull the head off and we're gonna check the O-rings and see how those O-rings looking real quick. Then we're gonna go from there. All right, y'all, so got the cylinder head off. And you know, you see where the water is on the piston at a little bit. So we just gonna seal, you know, seal, seal those O-rings up. Cause that's what we're causing it to do that. So come out the, you know, the overflow holes. So we're gonna seal that up. Then we're gonna go from there. All right, y'all, I got everything back together. As you can see, I cleaned it up for him. And um, yeah, I did a couple things, but a couple flaws today's kickstart. You know, it's loose, so he'll need another kickstart. I adjusted his chain, as you can see. And another thing I noticed is his transmission is, is you can tell his transmission kind of worn out because when you start the bike up, and you rev the gas in neutral, sometimes the bike will jump in gear. So that's um that's that's kind of like a, a sign of you know the transmission is, is worn out or whatever. But oh yeah, and another thing I went ahead to put fresh coolant in it. Fresh coolant in there. Fresh green coolant. So now we're gonna just see if it have see if it have that V-touch.
Get it in gear cycle. Dinosaur right there.